see uh, this time that i'm filming this thing this april 19th i'm meant to be married now <laughs> God. how do you talk about marriage to somebody and you guys are preparing to have your life together to like live your life together and you go to the person how <laughs> hello welcome back to my channel i'm timmy timmy banjo if it's your first time here hi i'm timmy i make content around food weight loss and so much more today i'm going to be talking about please ignore the chicken my god we breed chicken in my house and they are just by my window so please ignore them i'm even using the mic but i think i should go and stone them so today I'm going to be talking about how I overcame depression. Depression is something that it wasn't talked about so as much as it is right now. And that's because of the stigma that is around it because people like to stigmatize whoever says, oh, they are depressed, they are going through things or they have um, some mel mel mental health issues or stuff like that but these days i'm so thankful that it's not even hard to come out and say oh i've been depressed i'm fine now or my mental health wasn't fine at some point and then right now i'm okay and this is me coming out to say my mental health has been rubbish for the past like eight months but the fact that you know we've gone through or i have gone through childhood trauma and i overcame them by just being a all i even call it a nonchalant person thinking that i can just forget it and then i like to take advantage of the fact that i have a selective memory i choose to remember whatever i want to remember and then the remaining memory that i do not want i kind of shifts it to the back of my head so I was thinking I will get over this, I'll get over this, shifting everything to the back of my head. And then there's always a trigger. There's always something that will trigger me to remember you are not fine. You are not doing well. Things are not working out fine. So it started last year, just after Corona. I mean, before Corona, things were fine for me. After Corona, things really went bad and... I wasn't really getting the kind of results I was meant to get concerning work, concerning my relationships with people. It was shit. It got so bad that I chose not to celebrate my birthday. Like nobody knew when it was my birthday and I, di I didn't make a post. I didn't say anything. I just let the day get past. If you wish me happy birthday, if you don't wish me happy birthday, I will even, even I will not even be angry with you. And my friend said, "Are you all right? Why would not you celebrate your birthday? Of all things, not to celebrate." But I couldn't say, "Oh, I'm going through stuff," or "I'm not feeling fine," something like that. How am I supposed to explain that I'm fine, but I'm not feeling fine? Like I'm not well. I cried throughout my birthday last year. It was bad that's why this year is going to be different i shall manage throughout that last year to you know get into 2021 very hopeful very very optimistic and then you, um ig started acting funny again like i was losing jobs companies brands would reach out to me but then they're looking for 10k follow i don't know why it was at that point that Everyone who was reaching out to me was looking for 10k followers upwards. I'm like, when did it turn to this? I thought it was because of the content a person is able to create for you. I mean, there are micro influencers who have less than 10k followers, who have less than 5,000 followers, and they still create fire content. I didn't get jobs. I was just, you know, waking up every day thinking, is this how I'm going to continue my life? And YouTube was not even it for me. I mean, I cannot just sit down and be expecting a paycheck from YouTube every other month. I like going out to work. I like doing stuff. So 
instagram just you know worse again by just you know making me think about how i'm supposed to make a living now that things are not going on fine then the studio i opened the patronage isn't that fine i guess it was because of the location i chose and things were not looking good sha and to top it off i opened a makeup and photography studio so we do makeup and photography there and imagine instead of people i i know to um patronize me they're asking if they could have free shoots free free um portraits free, like i just opened me and my cousin we just opened this thing we've not even covered our capital and you are asking because obviously we needed to market so we we're doing some free stuff but people kept coming and asking for free stuff and you see people who it is actually close to their birthdays and they pose as wanting to be a model and then you see them posting the pictures on their birthday it was just like so we we that were doing this thing were the fools that be we we don't need money you are the one that needs free stuff for be that was part of it at some point i had to just ignore all of them it came to a point that i was always looking for social media validation like when i post a picture and i don't get enough interaction i'm like oh so if people don't like me anymore see the likes i'm getting me of all people i never knew that kind of thing would get to me so i'm like wait is it that they don't like me again or they're liking me less that kind of stuff i'm like what is going on why why i why am i thinking this way so i had to talk to a friend who you know really talked to me helped me through advised me and i just realized that i've been i've been mad about the wrong things i've been chasing the wrong things the things that i was meant to be grateful for the things i was meant to be happy about i wasn't happy about them but i was chasing many other things that were materialistic if i should put it that way but like the inner inner happiness that has to happen from within before i can even appreciate those material stuff because let's face the fact once you lay your hands on those material stuff thinking those are the things that will make you happy thinking those are the things that will make you fulfilled mm, you want more and that moment when you're wanting more you might fall back into that depression because i remember i was thinking oh i needed to hit this um, milestone i needed to hit that milestone the moment i hit that milestone i don't even remember to celebrate it and then i'm chasing more things and i'm back to the state where i was before so it doesn't have to do with material things it has to do with like your inside your your happiness inside how you feel inside of you and your whole mental situation actually that's why i've decided that i'm going to you know celebrate every little win that comes my way and it was even bad to a point that when i even hit 4,000 followers or 4,000 subscribers here on youtube i didn't even announce i didn't celebrate like it was a milestone actually but i didn't celebrate or post it until it was like four thousand one hundred and something and and it was not like i wanted to celebrate it but i just felt i had to post it you know so that because i'm a huge believer of celebrate your small wins let people know that you are doing good so that people who even want to encourage you will be encouraged to encourage you there are some people who look up to you and if you're not you know celebrating those things you are meant to use to encourage them how how exactly are they going to feel whether you like it or not no matter how small or big you are there are people who look up to you there are people i look up to who do not even know i'm looking up to them those type of things i need to you know encourage myself so that i can encourage them so this year after like i fell into my own depression and financial depression and so on and so forth i think my mom kind of noticed that i wasn't doing too well with business and you know she asked me if i'll come back to her shop and i said why not it's no work they're doing there work cannot kill somebody so i went back to her shop i'm not working there full time again like before but you know some days when i go there i work and i get paid per day which is cool cash okay i like when i'm always liquid when i always have cash i mean like i said earlier 
me i cannot be waiting for you to check every month it's something i'm grateful to god like i'm really grateful i am earning in dollars in nigeria and you know it's something of joy that i'm doing posting videos although these videos are huge work hard work you know and i spend so much money on some of these videos especially when i cook and i'm getting my money back i'm grateful to god for that i'm also grateful that i have parents who are supportive i have family members who are really really supportive and here i was invested in an in a relationship <laughs> i forgot that one so i was seeing somebody or like i was dating somebody should i put it that way last year around august september and we're really oh my god it just took the light we're really serious with our relationship you know we were talking marriage already and i was fully invested like my plans were oh by this time see at this time that i'm filming this thing this april 19th i'm meant to be married now <laughs> oh my god god works in mysterious ways <laughs> so oh god so i was really really invested in that relationship you know preparing talking to god like everything the signs were so pure and complete I started watching that was why i fell in love with them um, so many motherhood um wife wife motherhood housewife all those um mom vloggers let me put it that way them nello Dina, yummy mommy all of them i fell in love with them so i was trying to you know emulate some of their characters that they used to uphold their family all that good stuff and guess what this person ghosted me <laughs> how do you talk about marriage to somebody and you guys are preparing to have your life together to like live your life together and you go the person how see i don't want to talk about it because i've cried and <laughs> i'm over it already so i don't want to start thinking of it again my eyes are teary right now okay i'm fine so i don't want to start talking about it again like i said let me just move past it but that really affected me it affected my productivity it affected my judgment but nobody could see it on my face nobody could tell that i was going through that stuff except my sister who i told everything she knew everything that happened right from the beginning she knew everything she knew the whole story but one thing about me is that i will never wear my problem on my face i would rather just go through it inside of my mind and you know i was like i spoke to god about this so why exactly are all these things happening i committed my future into god's hand so why exactly am i experiencing all this and the more i kept questioning the more i kept you know losing my faith losing my belief i was now like wait to if i say i i don't want to talk to god again who exactly am i going to talk to so that's why i you know sat down had a meeting with myself spoke to some of my close friends we talked and words of words of encouragement so many advice and you know good times i talked to god i started manifesting i started doing everything which was good for me and that's why from this moment on i i was not even sure if i was going to celebrate my birthday this year or not i just said you know what i'm actually going to celebrate this birthday i was sad last year i was going through it last year it's not going to happen again it's not going to repeat itself again i am moving on i am celebrating this birthday have you seen birthday before i don't think so this birthday is gonna be a banger <laughs> i started celebrating or i've started celebrating my birthday from a week before see at the moment you enter into the month of april eh i started celebrating also this is for wishing me happy birthday just ask for my account number i'm going to put my account number on the screen mm? i'll put my bitcoin wallet on the screen send me bitcoin if you cannot send me naira or dollars also i'll put them in my description box <laughs> in my description box bless your girl it's my birthday okay i'm happy now make me happier so thank god i found my steps back to him i found my steps 
my steps back to Jesus Christ who has delivered me of my mental disorder no god forbid who has delivered me of my you know troubles <laughs> i'm fine now glory be to god thank you jesus i'm forever grateful to god i love all my instagram friends i love all my youtube friends my i don't really have friends on twitter everybody is just angry on that twitter i like everyone i love <laughs> i like the fact that everyone who i reached out to was not just you know talk to me whenever you need me they were actually there when I needed them. I talked to them. They responded. They said things that really helped me. I'm so grateful to all of them. And most importantly, I'm so grateful to my family, my family members. Even though I did not use my mouth like this to tell them that I was going through stuff. I mean, the sensitive ones out of them could read it on my body, my countenance. Like, I was always angry every morning. When I wake up in the morning, I was angry. The fact that I have to come here again and now smile and start filming as if everything is fine. God. Immediately I finished filming it, I'm back to being sad like... That was, that was what was happening. So people who could sense that something was wrong, they actually, you know, tried to help me. And I'm grateful to God that I'm fine now. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. I'm going to be fine. My mental health is blessed. I am moving up the ladder even though everything is not looking that good or rosy right now see eh? i have faith in god i believe in god and his prosperities they are meant for me everything works together for good for those who love god and guess what i love god i love jesus christ and i'm leading i'm being led by the holy spirit thank you jesus i'm going to be fine thank you so much for watching this video if you are going through any situation any you know trauma any deep kind of depression right now see i've been there although it takes patience but you also have to be willing you also have to be ready see it was so bad i was thinking of the fact that how bad is suicide like how you know what's really bad about suicide and at that point i knew i needed help see i know how it could be but hey you have to also try to want to be in a better position and just take your time speak to people even though therapy is expensive my own therapy was that i spoke to people i spoke to god people who you trust who are actually there for you it's not everybody that says i'm here for you that is here for you people who you know that are there for you speak to them make sure you listen to what they have to say to you make sure you you know try to communicate how exactly you are feeling because that's the only way you can get well try to communicate how you are feeling to them and hopefully 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 by god's grace you will come out of it strong i love you guys thank you so much those of you who keep you know watching my videos who keep subscribing sharing thank you so much and those of you who do not watch them thank you so much god bless you too you know one day you click on my video <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video i hope to see you in the next one you are about to click on and remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed it is absolutely free the only thing that is not free is the fact that i have to send in money for my birthday i'm going to leave my accounts on the screen and my bitcoin wallet on the screen for you to send me that cash okay subscribing is free liking this video is free hitting the bell notification like symbol is free that also lets you know when i upload a new video all those are free thank you guys for watching this video and i hope to see you in the next one bye